In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to play our Scholar School comp in set 12, covering the early game boards, best in slot items and augments, positioning and more. So as you'd expect, this comp uses a full Scholar team, with Rise as your main damage carry and Tarek as your main tank. This comp is extremely strong once you get everything online at levels 8 and 9, with tons of damage through Scholars and a mix of other strong traits too. The main issue though is that your frontline isn't really too tanky until you two-star them. The full comp uses Rise, Tarek, Morgana, Diana, Melio, Rakan, Bard, Ari and Zoe. When it comes to replacement options, one easy option you have is to drop down from 6 Scholars to 4 and add in more Arcana instead with Tom Kench, Hecarim and Zerath and play our Arcana Mayhem comp. The second option is to go for a more portal focused comp instead, which means you'll still look to shriek early and play 3 portal for the early to mid game, and once you reach level 8 you'll still be going for Ryze and Tarek. However, if you have been given any portal related augments, you can swap out the rest of your board for portals and mages instead. And if you want to see how to play this comp variation, head to the runic portals page on our website. So let's have a look at some items next step, and Ryze pumps best with a red buff, Archangels and Jeweled Gauntlet. The Archangels is definitely his best performing item though, but generally he is pretty flexible based on whatever you pick up. So you can consider items like Rabadon's Deathcap, Rageblade, Morello's or Static Shiv if you need to. Then we have our main tank Tarek and he wants those big juicy tank items like Warmogs, Bramble and Dragon's Claw, so he can stay alive for as long as possible. You can also go for Gargoyle Stoneplate, Redemption or Steadfast Heart if you are struggling for those perfect components. After your main two units are sorted, the rest becomes pretty flexible here. We play three 5 cost legendary units in the later stages of this comp, and these can all do really well with just a few items. Melio with a Spear of Shojin is a super good option though, because this will allow him to dispense more items for your board and make everything even more powerful without really any effort. Ionic Spark is also a great option here to help shred down your enemies, so you can pop this onto Diana or whichever frontliner you manage to 2 star first. If you have leftover tanky AP or hybrid items, Morgana is a great user of these two, especially alongside that Scholar Emblem. And if you still have more leftover defensive options to go for, Rakan will be your best second tank option. For Spatulas, there's not really too much you can use them for here, aside from building a Portal Emblem and transitioning into that comp instead. If you do get a Frying Pan though, this can give you a unique new way to get your Scholar Emblem to throw on Morgana or Diana by combining it with a tier, so definitely go for that if you see one. Now let's go over the best augments you can play for in this comp, and the first and most obvious S tier choices will be a Scholar Crest or Crown, allowing you to hit 6 Scholar and increase this comp ceiling significantly. Then there's also the Higher Education Scholar Augment too that gives the majority of your board including your main carry Rise a ton more attack speed. This comp can always have more rods, so the Magic Wand Augment will help out a ton here with your itemization, but so too does you have my bow. Combat Caster is also a fantastic choice as your team lacks tankiness but generates tons of mana and ults, which then gives you tons of shields to stay tanky enough and win your fights back to back. Other strong augments here include Blossoming Lotus for big crits, new recruit for the extra team size and champion duplicator which helps you 2 star your expensive carries later on, or even item augments like Pandora's or big grab bags. Reinforcement is also not one to forget about either, especially if there's quite a few people leaning towards the same 4 cost carries. For win conditions, your main focus here is to reach level 8 with a really strong economy, so you can find and 2 star your 4 cost units in Rise and Tarek. These can be fairly popular units, so if you do take too long to get here, you may struggle to hit them quick enough before it's too late and then you'll just be heading for a swift exit. A huge win condition in this comp is hitting an S tier scholar specific augment too, and these will allow you to fully commit to this comp and spike extremely hard once everything comes together. Having the perfect items on your Tarek and Rise and 2 starring them whilst maintaining good tempo is the key, because then you can save up gold again to push for level 9 to find and add in your 5 cost late game units, Emilio, Morgana and Diana. Well let's get on to the game plan now, and as this comp is focused on playing around 4 cost carries, we're going to look to rush to level 8 as quickly as possible whilst maintaining a strong economy. To open up this comp, you want to activate Portal nice and early on with Zoe, Galio and Jace, and then use Ari as your main item holder for Rise later on. You can slam your tank items on Galio or Jace ready for Tarek 2 and look to streak either way to make sure you start building up your economy as soon as possible. Continue leveling up at a regular pace and try to hit level 6 at around stage 3 too. If you did opt for a lose streak in the first stage, you definitely want to play a bit more aggressively here to get yourself back onto a win streak to prevent losing too much HP. Here's where you want to aim to activate 4 Scholars if you hit an emblem on your augments and also add in Bard. Then you can play another trait filler like Nico to help bolster your frontline. During this stage, you just want to focus on building up those main carries items for Ryze and Tarek, and build up your gold as quickly as you can because pushing to level 8 is your main goal in this comp. 
Throughout stage 4, you'll be aiming to rush past level 7 and get to level 8 as quickly as possible, and have enough gold ready so you can start rolling to find and 2-star Ryze and Tarek. You might need to play pretty aggressively here to make sure you hit both of these forecasts and 2-star them, especially if other players in your lobby might be contesting you. Once you do have both of these units on your board and itemized, this should be more than enough to help you start win streaking again, where you can now start saving up gold again to push for level 9 to find and add in your 5 cost units Melio, Morgana and Diana. Then you can look to place any leftover items you get onto any of those 5 cost units like a Shoujin for Melio, Arnix Spark for Diana or a BT for Morgana. To finish off, let's look at positioning and you want to spread out your tanks in the front line to protect your main carry rise in the back corner. Tarek is your main tank here and if you do have a stone plate, place him solo in the front line with the rest of your melee units just behind it. If not, just spread them across the middle. Your backup scholars without items can spread out across the backline and Melio can sit in the opposite corner to rise, to stay somewhat safe whilst blasting out and feeding items to your board. And that will give you everything you need to know on how to win with our scholar school comp. Don't forget to check out our in-game overlay to follow this comp in-game with our step-by-step -step guides and variety of features to help you win. Good luck and have fun.